outshot them and took a lead in the third period. Were you thinking that this was going to be the one? Uh, well, I don't know. I don't ever think this will be the one. Um, um, yeah, I, I mean, to me, we were we were really good first two periods. I mean, uh, according to our count, we had uh, 30 scoring chances to their seven, uh, and we're sitting there one-one. Obviously, you get the the goal early, go up two-one, and, and we talk about it all the time. You know, the next shift is all the game's all about momentum, and that next shift was was critical and. Uh, um, you know, they got the puck out of their zone and they came on a rush and they were a little bit of a sort out. Our, our defenseman didn't move over and uh, they made a play through uh, through to, uh, I think, Erickson and, and he got it tied up and then, you know, we take a penalty. So all the momentum there, they were, I thought, a team that was hanging on um, first two periods and, and it, that second goal gave them a lot of, gave them all momentum. I mean, then we take a penalty and then there were, we're, we're on the defensive, so, um, and then he scored obviously the, the, the third and fourth. Um, third obviously just a, a puck to the net and fourth uh, off a rush, so uh, the, the obviously very disappointing. Um, but we did so many good things and I don't know other than uh, the response after the, we got ahead, um, respond a little bit better, I think we probably win the hockey game. And to me it just, that, that, that shift turned the game around. Is considering kind of the effort you guys have in the first couple of periods and the scoring chances, is this one of those kind of like deflating type? Well, I don't know if it's ever deflate yet. It, it is in a sense that, that you know, I, just like I said in St. Louis, I thought we deserved a point. Uh, today, I, I thought we deserved points again, and uh, either one or two, probably two today, based on the, the first two periods. But uh, um, we don't, we don't, we didn't get them, and uh, we just got to, you know, this one's this one's done. We got to go to. The, well, the next one, we got to get, got to get some wins and get out of this, uh, this slide. Because all the good work we did, uh, you know, the previous weeks, um, it goes down the drain a little bit here. So we just got to get uh, um, doing those things. But our effort uh, was tremendous, I thought tonight. We had a lot of detail. It was a, it was a, a really hard-fought hockey game. What was your take on Mueller's performance tonight? Well, I didn't play him a, a, a whole lot. Um, and he was fine. I didn't. I didn't feel uncomfortable not playing him. Uh, he was fine. I didn't use him a lot. And that's usually probably the first time. Uh, a lot of times, you don't use those guys a, a lot early. But uh, you know, when we fell behind, I used them even less, uh, just because of the fact that we're trying to see if we can get right back in it. A lot of special teams early in the game. Is that another factor? Why you didn't have yeah, a little bit. Yeah, early? you know, if you look at it, it was it was hard to get into a rhythm, and I was moving people around a little bit. So you know. There's times where he probably would be going out and trying to get my, you know, we've got different people on the, on the penalty kill from different lines. We've got different people on the power play from different lines. So we're, we're piecemealing it a little bit. So Considering all, all the injuries and, and other situations you guys have going right now, what was it like trying to cobble together lines and, and create Well, I, I think uh, for the most part, I think everybody came, you know, it, it's a lot easier when you get the work ethic and you get guys that are, are playing with detail and, and, uh, and the, the commitment that you get, um, it, it's a lot easier. Uh, it's, I always find it doesn't matter what your lineup is, when they're not playing as hard as they, they're capable of playing, then that, that's, to me, is as, as hard as you know, having new people in the lineup and having people out. Colin, two goals. How do you try to coax this kind of consistency out of him on a night and night out basis? Well, he, yeah, he was really good. I thought he was, you know, he, he, he was skating, and that's number one with, with with Colin, he was he was taking the puck hard to the net. He was looking, you know, getting his nose a little bit, a little bit dirty there, and, and that's how he's got to play. And uh, you know, you hopefully build on on one game and, and re reinforce the positive because um, you know obviously he doesn't feel good if we didn't win the game. But you know, in self analysis in, in terms of his game tonight, he, inside, he, you know, I think he knows he played pretty well. Joe, you mentioned uh, Dallas kind of hanging on first two periods. Is this, a, is this an example of not, not being able to put a team away? You were talking yeah, about yeah well, that's what I'm, uh, exactly. It's, uh, you know, and it all started with that, that right after we got one ahead. And, and what you want to do is, you know, the momentum at that point, early in the, uh, in, in the third period, that momentum is, is uplifting for us and deflating for them. And the longer you can sustain that and keep that momentum, 
the more deflated they get. Well, we did we did it for what a minute sixteen or something like that. They come back and score. That deflates us and then uplifts them. So it's that's the emotional roller coaster that you have to go through. And um, yeah, it, you know, I think the third goal was you know the second goal was a little bit deflating, but the third one was was really deflating because you know we had them on the ropes. We had them all on the ropes. I thought all all game. Um, and then they, you know, get the get the second one, and the third one I thought was the one that was really deflating. And uh, can you kind of just talk a little bit about how the injuries on the top boards are, are kind of taking a toll on this team? Well, you know, it, we don't we don't score a lot in our uh, we're not known for getting three or four, and, and you know, Dallas is one of the, the best offensive teams in the league. Um, you know, it, it puts a premium on trying to just keep it simple and get get to the net and, and all that. I, I think, you know, when we get everybody back, hopefully we, we have the two things from this, this tough stretch is that we have the mentality that uh, we're going to play the way we are in terms of our, our energy, in terms of our detail, in terms of our commitment, uh, and, and going to those hard areas um, and, and really battling in front of the net for those pucks. And, and that's how we scored our... Our power play goal. It was. It was not the, the. You know, a shot from a point screen. It was in. It was two and three guys whacking at the puck and finally knocking it in. And that, that's how you're going to score now in a National Hockey League. And and those are the things that hopefully we can take through this this dry spell. Uh, add to our game uh, even more when we get you know some some health. But uh, you can't count on health. We've had. This is probably a, a little more frustrating in terms of. Uh, the number of injuries we've had this year versus other years. I mean, last year we were fairly injury-free, um, and we're able to be pretty consistent. Uh, this year we've had more injuries, and, and our consistency level has been up and down a little bit. Um, you know, Dallas, on the, on the other hand, has been really healthy, and they've been really consistent. So there is a correlation there. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.